Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Desiree and what I have for you today are just a few movements, a few exercises that we're gonna be doing uh, to get into the upper body and show these areas like the shoulders, the arms, the upper back, just a little extra TLC. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need two blocks and a strap. If you don't have a strap, you could use a t-shirt, uh, a kitchen towel, just as long as the object has no, no flex, uh, no stretchiness, right? So we need that resistance. So once you have all of your things together, right? And you come to your favorite practice space, then I want you to meet me in a supportive Virasana. So support of your asana is gonna be with the legs together, the shins out wide, and we're just gonna take a seat on the widest part of the block, right? So it's just the very tip of, or the very edge of my seat that is supported evenly by the block. So feet are gonna be just on the outside of the thighs, and I want you to bring your attention to the heels, right? And then from the heels, I want you, want you to elongate that inner edge of the foot out to the big toe. So then go ahead and take your hands onto your knees, lift up lightly on the skin, right? and just create a little more space between the shin and the floor. And then allow the arms to hang heavy down by your sides and your hands to rest on your lap. Palms can be up or down. And then when you find some physical stillness here, go ahead and close your eyes. And then bring your attention to the tops of your shoulders. And I want you to think of everything on the back body from the tops of the shoulders, riding down, elongating everything down to the tip of the tailbone. So that whole back gets really long and the whole front of the body gets really tall. And then move all of your attention onto your breath. Try to keep your focus solely on your inhale and your exhale. And then use this focus to initiate the beginning of your practice. So before we start moving, we're gonna breathe in a pattern that follows Samavriti, which is a pranayama. It translates to equal part breath. So we're gonna inhale for the count of four, hold for the count of four, exhale for the count of four, and hold again for the count of four. In a moment, I'll just demonstrate what it's gonna sound like, but if at any point it just becomes too much or you get confused or lost or whatever, it becomes hard to breathe, whatever the thing is that you may find distracting, then just return to a natural rhythm of breath and just try to even out the inhales with the exhales. So what the breath, what my instructions are gonna sound like for the breathing exercise is I'm gonna say inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. So I'll be guiding you for a few rounds and then I'll leave you on your own. But for now, just start to breathe in a little bit deeper, a little bit softer, and exhale a little bit deeper, and exhale a little bit softer. So gradually, I want you to make the breath deeper and deeper. And again, the inhales just as long as the exhales. 
so the breath becomes more even, more fluid, more calming on the mind and body. breath out fully expel all of the air out so push and push so you can't push anymore and then prepare for an inhale for two three four hold two three four exhale two three four hold two three four inhale two three four Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. So continue to move through this pattern. And in a few moments, I'll come back and guide you out. So make this round your last. And then after you conclude this round, just return to a natural rhythm of breathing. And then go ahead and open up your eyes. So go ahead and grab your strap and then take both hands onto the strap, all right? You want your arms to be about shoulder distance apart. And then immediately I want you to bring your attention to the wrist, right? And I want you to think of lengthening and reaching out through the wrist, right? And that whole line runs up towards the armpit. That's what we're looking for. And then just double check with the arms, right? Kind of draw them back plug them into their sockets and then just actively pull onto the strap right as if you could like pull the strap apart and then very slowly you're going to lift the arms up overhead as high as you can while keeping the arms plugged into their sockets and then slowly lower the arms down. So this is gonna be a much slower practice, right? So feel free if you wanna close your eyes or if you can keep them open, that's fine too. But for now, right, just go slow. We're just gonna lift the arms up and then take them down. Really trying to just stay as inward as possible. are up. I want you to keep them there. And then widen the hands just a little bit so you come more into a V. 
and then we reach out through the wrists. So we're gonna come into a side bend from here. So root down through the left hip, right? And then walk everything from the hip up, up to the edge of the fingertips, or up to the edge of the palm, right? And then lift up and tilt over. So even though we're gathering from such a low point on the body, right, it may even look like such a small lift that we're taking over to the right. And then pull yourself up through center. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right side until over to the left, right? So root down through the hip, right? But then walk everything up physically, energetically, and then take it over to the left. Come back to center. And do the same thing on the left again. Reach up and then tilt it over. center, reach up, tilt it over to the left, come back to center, very slowly you're going to take the arms down, 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 we're going very slow, very slow, very slow, <laughs> and then just release the strap you can place it off to the side plant your hands onto your lap and then just pause take a deep breath in and follow it with a deep breath out right. so go ahead and remove whatever you're sitting on and just place it towards the top edge of your mat and meet me on all fours. All right, so we're going to come into a movement that really just focuses on the thoracic spine, the upper spine, a little bit of the lower back, but you wanna keep the legs, the hips, everything else as stable as possible as you're just kind of twisting and rotating on the spine. So take your right hand to the back of your head, right? Stay long and broad across the collarbones, across the chest. And then from left to right in the low belly, I want you to reach up towards the sky. So it looks like the arm is driving the movement, but it's really all these other parts in the trunk that are, right? And then the arm's just kind of like the, the domino effect to follow. All right, so now we're gonna twist from right to left to bring the arm uh, to bring the arms together, right? To close everything up. And then lift it up to open, lift and twist. And then twist and close. And then twist and open. And then take it back down. So just do a few more rounds of these. Again, you can close your eyes or keep them open. But really fill into like all the edges, all the crevices. Like experiment with like pushing and pulling, but just soft, gentle movements within the structure. And then the next time that you have the arm up, extend the arm, uh, the right arm straight, and then we're gonna thread the needle, right? So we're gonna go a little low. We're gonna take that whole right side body to the floor, right? If you don't have the range of motion to take it to the floor, it's totally fine if you're up on the arm, but you're still gonna twist that right arm underneath the left. and then use the left arm, right, to explore, move, to find a bit more stability and traction, to open up uh, through, through the ribs, the chest, maybe even a bit more through the belly. But when you go slow like this, it really gives you the opportunity 
to see like what is moving, how it's moving, like just what's even ha what is even happening. And then press down through the arm, take it back up to the sky, and then we'll do that once more. twist take the and take it all up and then come back to all fours right realign yourself and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side so left hand to the back of the head right we're going to twist from right to left in the low belly to open up and then left to right in the belly to, to close it Just a few more. Next time that you have the arm up, right, extend and straighten the arm and then thread it under the right arm. Again, right, just experiment with pushing and pulling and playing with the traction, the connection of the arm to the floor, or the hand to the floor. And then take it back up. And then we'll twist once more. twist come back to center which is all fours sit back on the heels or, I'm sorry sit back on your shins or sit you know what I mean <laughs> I'm too relaxed right now <laughs> We're gonna grab our blocks and we're gonna stack them one on top of the, the other, both on their widest width, right? So we have one block, two blocks. So the widest width is facing me. Now you're gonna have to play with your distance, right? But we wanna bring the elbows onto the block, right? And then you can either walk the arms up, right, to find more length, find a bit more support. Okay. And then if you need a little bit more space, you can walk the legs back. Okay. But start off with a closer range of motion, right? So this way you can just start to ease, ease out and get a little more length than having to like retract and like reset everything back up. So with the elbows on the blocks, right, bring the hands together, right, and then just be mindful or just have your attention on your low back, right? We don't want to, um, we want the back to give us more structure and support here, right? The back, the low belly, everything's still drawing in, so this low back is long, right? So we want to lower down, right, to bring our head in between our arms. So again, just kind of give yourself that space and time to experiment with how much, how much space you need and the range of motion, right? And as we, we're gonna be here for a little bit too, so you may notice that you can go a little deeper, a little further in. So when you find a place that you're comfortable, where you can be for a little while, then stay there, right? And then. Close your eyes, turn your attention onto your breath. And 
any tension that you may feel, any sensation that may be a little less than desirable, anything that you feel right now that's taking over your mind, focus everything back on the breath. can also play with the height of the blocks, right? If you need higher, lower, if you need to take the arms wider, right? I completely understand uh, that this is not a one size fits all kind of thing. And I always, always, always encourage you to explore these shapes and movements. your next breath in, breathe in a little bit deeper. Press your elbows into the blocks, lift your head, right, straighten the arms, and then bring the hands back by your knees, right, and very slowly sit yourself up. And close your eyes when you're upright. back into your breath. Move your attention back into the base of your seat. And within the structure, allow everything to soften. Move your attention up into your hips, your belly, your low back. Allow everything to soften. Allow everything in the chest and the upper back that rides up and down the front of the trunk to soften. Allow the arms and fingers to soften. Relax the muscles in the throat. Relax the muscles in the scalp of the head that runs all the way down to the jaw. Allow the eyes to recede in their sockets and the tongue to rest on the base of the mouth. Take a deep breath in, followed by a slow deep breath out. And then when you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Again, my name is Desiree. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, I always love to hear about your experiences. So feel free to reach out. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.